I have the main signs so that you can tell if you might be making this mistake and not even realizing it. Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining us today on episode number 267 of the Real Life Runners podcast. Today we're going to be talking about one of the biggest mistakes we see so many runners making. So if that sounds interesting, stay tuned. This is a good one. We've got, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a big mistake. This mistake that we see so many people making is trying to prove that they are a runner. Mm -hmm. And what we want you to understand is that you don't have to prove that you're a runner. There's no qualifying time. There's no qualifying distance. There's no qualifying standard for you to say, I am a runner. It's like, you're trying to prove it to yourself or to somebody else. If you feel like you're just not enjoying it, if you feel like you're constantly comparing yourself and you're like, well, I started running around the same time as that person, but that person's faster than me. I should be faster by now. Why am I not getting faster? These are things that have run through your head. You might be suffering from this idea of trying to prove that you're a runner without even knowing it. So we want to kind of break down some of like, the five top mistakes that we see people making that might indicate that you could be believing that you need to prove somehow to yourself or to other people that you are a runner. One of the big mistakes that we see is race hopping or signing up for a race before you're actually ready, just so you can check off that box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Race hopping of if I'm not racing, then I'm not really a runner. There's nothing wrong with you. If you've make, made these mistakes, it's not actually the distance that proves that you're the runner. It's what you make that distance mean. It's your thought about that distance. Next one of pushing harder all the time to keep up with your training group. Next big mistake, avoiding walking breaks. Mm -hmm. More and faster is not always better. Avoiding walking breaks does not prove that you're a runner. Okay. So that's mistake number three. Number four, run streaks. Hitting a run streak does not prove that you're a runner or limiting yourself to only one rest day per week. To kind of wrap it up, you don't have to prove that you're a runner, okay? If you run, you are a runner. So if you find yourself feeling that need to sign up for a race or pushing harder to keep up with a training group or trying to avoid walking breaks because of what you think that means about you and your ability or needing a running streak to get you out the door or following someone else's training plan. Those are five of the really big mistakes that we see a lot of people making. Just know that nothing you do proves that you're a runner other than going out the door and running. Hopefully this episode was helpful and maybe helped you identify some of the unconscious ways that you are maybe trying to prove to yourself or to other people. Instead of trying to prove it, you can just start to learn to accept it. Tell yourself that you are indeed a runner because you are. So as always guys, well, before I get into the outro of, of the day running challenge.com. There we go. Thank you. Sign up for the five-day running challenge. And as always, we appreciate you spending this time with us. If you haven't yet, please leave us a rating and a review on iTunes or Spotify. Share this episode with a friend or, you know, on social media. Help us grow the podcast so that we can help and reach more runners. We would so appreciate that. This has been the Real Life Runners podcast, episode number 267. Now get out there and run your life.